Okay, this time um, I'm showing you how to edit the nav bar. And so the nav bar is this blue bar with the links across the top. Uh, in this instance, you'll again want to go to course admin, like if you're editing the home page. And again, up at the top, there's navigations and themes. Click on that. As in with now, uh, editing the home page, you need to have an active uh, option. So down here in the lower right hand corner, uh, I have a a nav bar option that says active and it has a little green check. If you do not have that, again, as with the home page, so kind of editing these is very similar. Find the default, click on the little arrow, click copy, make a copy, and then up here at the top, select which one you want to use. Uh, so again, I'm going to stick with the one that I have and show you how to edit it. So click on the blue editable link. Uh, as with the home bar, uh, you might be able to change the theme. Again, notice changing theme is moving kind of um, content around. It's not giving you much control. And the main thing I just want to emphasize is, no, I don't know how to change this picture up here. I had to ask someone to do that for us. Um, now, what I can do is show you uh, how to edit the links. You'll notice that up here on the top of your links area, you have options. I'm going to suggest that you probably don't want to mess with those. Uh, most people are used to looking at the course specific links under the kind of title bar. Um, and if you add stuff up top, people might kind of miss that, erase that. Uh, so I suggest that you only work with the links down here underneath the, the logos and such. Um, okay, so you have two options. Uh, you have add links, and what that is, is it's a laundry list of links that, again, come specific to D2L or um, uh, options, like uh, there's a Turnitin link. There's a bunch of links. Um, there's a VoiceThread link, so, you know, that's a plugin that's we've the school has purchased to use. Uh, so you have lots of links here. Um, Click cancel. Well, for example, I'm going to click rubrics. When you add a link, you do have the ability um, or at least I thought you did have the ability. Nope, I lied. I thought you had the ability to uh, show who who would see it, but I could be wrong. Um, but so you can add it and notice you can drag it around. Uh, you can put it so here this little um, blank square is the home icon. I can move rubrics in front of that. And if I hit save, uh, notice rubrics added up here in front of the home icon. That doesn't make much sense. So I'm going to delete that and hit save again. Rubrics goes away. Uh, but over here on the right, uh, it say you don't like the order of the ones or say you want to add quizzes back in. So let's, let's do that. So I took out quizzes if you decide to um, use this nav bar but you want to add quizzes back in we find quizzes there we go we add it and then i would put it i'd probably put quizzes like after assignments or something like that again i'm going to click save and voila quizzes now back up here in the row again i'm taking quizzes back out uh now uh the main thing i want to show you and this is super tricky pay attention if you want to add a custom link so for example in a lot of my classes um, I have students doing work in a shared Google Drive. You can add a custom link to um, that nav bar. So for example, if you create a shared Google Drive um, and then you want to drop in the URL, the long ugly URL to that Google Drive. So this is really important. You will be tempted to drop that URL right here in this big blank spot. Don't do it. This is a crankiness of D2L. I'm sorry, you just have to deal with it. Instead, go over here to the right, the button that says Insert Quick Link. Scroll down, click URL, and paste your URL there. I know this doesn't make sense, but that's just the way that links work in this system. If you just paste in the URL, it, it most likely will not work. Uh, my suggestion also is if you paste in something like a URL to a shared Google space, that you might want to um, have it open in a new, a new tab or window, uh, so it's not um, embedded within the D2L uh, workspace.
So important thing, if you create a custom link, make sure you use that add link button that uh, D2L provides. Um, but otherwise, once you're done customizing, um, make sure you hit save and close and it will update everything for you. I'm going to get, hit cancel. There we go.